And in Washington, the U.S. Secretary of State said today Americans cannot be spectators to the slaughter in Syria. It was a day of hard selling. He and the president are trying to convince Congress to support military intervention. Eric Sorensen is watching that part of the story for us tonight. Eric? Donna, the U.S. president wants to attack Syria. He has the authority to attack Syria, but he's letting Congress vote on it. A huge political gamble. Even as the U.S. moves an aircraft carrier and more firepower closer to Syria, the president for now is deploying his big political guns on Capitol Hill to make the case for action against a Syrian regime accused of using chemical weapons on its own people. This is not the time to be spectators to slaughter. Neither our country nor our conscience can afford the cost of silence. Obama didn't have to do it this way, but in granting Congress time to vote on Syria, he's using a full court press to get the results he wants. Uh, we will be stronger if we take action together as one nation. And so Obama met with congressional leaders today and got support from an unlikely ally, the top Republican in Congress. This is uh, something that the United States as a country uh, needs to do. Uh, I'm going to support uh, the president's uh, call for action. We don't want to ask the police to restore order. It's a strange turnaround in Washington. Anti-war protests once reserved for George Bush now target Obama. Many Republicans are with the president, many Democrats against him. We risk the uh, danger, the very real danger, of a much wider conflict in the region. A wider conflict is just what Syria's president is warning, who said, quote, chaos and extremism will spread. The risk of a regional war exists. And this from Iran today. The senior commander saying the U.S. should not think that Syria is alone in the international community. The White House is worried about the response from Syria, Iran and others, though not because of taking action, but of inaction. A refusal to act would undermine the credibility of America's other security commitments. The word of the United States must mean something. In a sense, Obama has boxed himself and the country into a weak position if Congress votes no. But that becomes part of the White House calculation, that Congress will not want to weaken the country on the world stage, so in the end, we'll get behind the president. Donna? Eric Sorensen in Washington tonight. Thank you, Eric.